Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thanks for coming back to the channel. Yes. We're on Dev Snails for this world, and we're trying to make some sense of all of this hoopla, all of this chaos, all of this nonchalant type of attitude Nini is having towards everybody. When it's in regards to that man right there, uh, Scammer Man Shabba, all right, that's his new name. <laughs> we won't even call his name because he's not even acting like a man. How you gonna hail yo? A strange wife that you separated from, but you didn't legally separate right from her, okay? But you're still starting up relationships here and there. And then the girl that you're supposed to be loving on, you liking and all this kind of stuff. Your ex, well, your wife, it ain't even ex, it's your wife is actually getting sued. Or she's suing your mistress, which happens to be Nene. Greg's ex-wife, okay? And I wonder, ooh, I wonder if you would have paid Nene any attention if she was left no money from Greg's death. And these, that was her family, y'all. That was her family. And that's was when they were on, um, what do you call that? The Steve Harvey um, family feud when he took over. Who are those people? Who are those people? Nene. We know Greg. We know Bryson. We know uh, Brett. But we don't know that other person. And you're going to be crying a lot more than what you're crying or faking crying on that show when y'all had that reunion. And they had that doctor sitting by you and you called yourself just breaking up all together. But we are, where is Bryson? Where is he, honey? And we knew he had that girlfriend that you didn't like because she was trying to tell all of your business, okay? All of your business. To where the fact she, I guess you just put everybody on silence and said they better not say shit. And if they do, you're going to sue them, okay? But you went and bought him a house. Yes, we do remember that house you bought him because he was laying on somebody's couch. And it was just, uh, seems like, you know. He was half naked or something. Or he was under the lucid uh, avenue of being on illicit drugs and stuff of that nature. And he just made everything look real bad. And you didn't like that. So you had to kind of get him his own digs. You didn't want him to stay with you. Which I ain't know why. That would be the safer thing. But you bought him a house. You, you know, so he can have something. You don't really have to depend on nobody else. And, uh... I, well, I guess you took care of him in that way. So, so I guess he still got the house because, you know, paparazzi be running around him. They would have pretty much put that on blast if Bryce, Bryson had lost that house that you got for him. But I think you went on and paid for that house because it's about, what, $100,000, $150,000. Uh, cute little starter home. And that's probably all he needed because he wasn't doing it for himself like he should have been doing. Like... Brent is doing trying to hold down the little Nithia lounge. So good thing for him. But girl, girl, what is going on? Where is your grandchild? Where are your stepchildren that you were so uh loving at the time when Greg was still living? I mean you had some beef with some of the boys, uh one particular boy of Greg's, but I thought y'all hashed that out. But you know I'm coming for that story, Nene. I want that story. You need to tell me, girl. How did you get messed up with this man and not demanded that he get some uh his affairs in order? Like go on and divorce her. Okay, go on and divorce her. Okay, my what's up? What male? Can't pronounce her whole name. It wouldn't be fair, so we just shorten it. Why didn't you uh, tell him he needs to divorce Mal. Why are you putting everything 
on this man to take care of when you're the one looking stupid out here as a husband still. You see what I'm saying, Nene? It's time for you to take some type of control of your life in this scenario that you're going to through. It's time for you to take a narrative. Well, write your own narrative of the story you're trying to play out in front of us. Because, honey, from what I hear, and it's allegedly, that condo you're living in, it's not yours. It's not yours, Nene. It's Nione's, the scammer, Shaba. Is that true, girl? Let us supposed to know. Because that's what I heard. And like I said, everything's allegedly over here. We don't really know. But that's what the streets are saying, girl. So I'm like, okay. You're supposed to have all this money from Greg's death, allegedly. You sell your house. You got that money. And then you call yourself buying or leasing, renting, one of those luxury apartments slash condo downtown. Where all the limelight is. Where you don't have to really go anywhere to enjoy the nightlife. The party life. That kind of scene. And I'm guessing Brent is living with you in there as well. So how does that really work out? How does it really work out? I mean I personally don't believe that you're letting a man pay something over your head. That he can throw you out of. So I'm you know. I don't think that's true. But if it is, nay, nay. Girl, have you lost your mind? I hope you ain't giving this man, scammer, shabba, uh, your bank account information. I'm like, we could be stupid. Don't be that damn stupid, okay? Because I'm still having to have to really rethink this thing with, um, what's his name? Uh, Peter Thomas trying to set you up with a man that had been single for how long? Okay. And you just happen to uh, ask Peter to set you up with somebody sight unseen. And he came up with this young brother. I mean, that's a that's a tragedy in itself. Why would you date somebody that you know still currently is married? And my idea for you to have asked, why haven't you gotten a divorce? If you've been separated... And it's not legal. You just stopped living with her. You got your own digs. Why didn't you just divorce her? Why you are still holding on to her as a backup? Because that's what most people are thinking. You should have got bent. If you've been separated from her living in separate digs for at least two or three years, brother, you should have been divorced. Okay? But it seems like you're preying on widowed people. Who are already emotional and unstable to a certain degree. Because they're still grieving. And Nene fits that profile profoundly. Okay. So I'm like Nene you need to check who you going to. Telling all your business to. To have you be set up for the big take. Okay. The big payback in a sense. Because what better way for Peter to get you back. Than to take your money. Have you ever thought about that, Nene? Have you ever thought about that? People that you think are your friends or they want the best for you, they might be sheeps and wolves. They might be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? And you need your money for Bryson and you need your money for Brett. Now, did you give any of the other children a, slight, a slice of the pie or you just forgot about them altogether? And you just worried about your sons. The one you had with somebody else. And the one you had with Greg. Girl. Child. It's too much. It's too much going on you. And you sitting up here acting a damn fool. Sitting over there. Uh, laughing and kicking. And, and you know making fun of. I'm pretty sure. Scammer man. Shaba wife. Okay. Because that's still her title. Whether you like it or not. She still is his wife. And you are infringing upon that by doing what you're doing there out in them streets with him. Because now he wants to say so much. He wants to do so much. But he still ain't coming up with that other $50,000. Girl, that is a scammer. Shaba, 
if you want to know it or see it. That's one, Nene. You're sleeping with the enemy, baby. Not Mr. Greg, who tried to total line with you and tried to set you up, you know, for you to, you know, be able to be good for a while. Now, you messing with a married man. And you trying to make like, it's okay. You ain't doing nothing wrong. So you need therapy right then and there, baby girl. You need therapy right then and there. But. I know you're going to do what you want to do. And you saying the fuck with everybody else say or think. And I'm like, girl, you might need to take a trip by yourself. Or maybe with a good, good girlfriend. That don't need your money. Don't want to be a part of your entourage. And don't want to be on camera. Those are the friends that you want to surround yourself with. And whatever happened to that lady of excellence? I be, I've been asking for that. For you to show proof. They could have probably set you up with somebody. Since you kind of got them globally. They ain't. All, they don't all live in Atlanta. But I guess that was just something you did for television. When you were on the show. Because there is no mention of you. And that group going around. Taking trips out of the country. Out to another state. Like you were stating on that show. No, you're sitting up here trying to support your grown-ass children as well as a grown-ass scammer. Shaba, that's what we're going to call him. We ain't going to even call him what you would call him. We're going to call him Mr. Shaba Scammer. All right? But that's all I have for this video, guys. I will be back with more because it just seems like stuff is calm, calm, calm <laughs> to me about my housewives of Atlanta. They can't get it together. You throw them off the show and they just go all willy-nilly, all crickety crackety jack. They ain't got no sense. They just ain't got no sense. Once the, the title is snatched from them as an alum to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they're like, they all cracked up. They just doing whatever they want, just all willy-nilly, not just throwing caution to the wind, knowing they got to have food, shelter, and clothing. And then they depending on men to take care of them when they're not even there they're not even married to them but they're expecting they have that expectation of the men taking care of them but i'm like nene he ain't taking care of you from what we see you taking care of him and i thought you would one of them kind of women that wasn't gonna do that but it seems like you are just from what the optics we're giving it might be something totally different. But this is what we're seeing. You're supposed to be head woman in charge. Head bitch in charge. And now Carlos King got a little after hours thing he's doing with the OGs from first season. And you weren't invited. But oh, looky, looky, looky. Who comes cooking? Kim Zosiak. Berman was asked. Yeah, Sheree Whitfield was asked. Lisa Wu was asked and the lovely Deshaun Snow asked all four of those were asked to come back like they were the ones pioneering breathing life into the real housewives of Atlanta but you said that was your job right so why are all these opportunities just leaving your ass in the dust you be like Monique you gonna burn up into some ashes and we're going to like, yeah, that's where she once stood. The great, but late NeNe Leaks. Because you're going to become a simpleton again. An ordinary person walking the street. Because how can you have, uh, what do you call it, Shaba Scammer set the tone. He don't know anybody. He don't know any celebrities, really. Until he start flossing and hanging around you. And you got Peter. Over him, he was supposed to been supposedly been marrying that girl that y'all see him in the picture with. Remember, that's the one that he was dating after him and Cynthia were through. At least that's what he told us. Okay, but for some reason, somehow, somewhere, she bounced. She left him alone. That's Peter Thomas. But Nene got Peter Thomas setting her up <laughs> with a scammer, shabba. Because if a man going to be with you, he going to leave his wife. He going to divorce his wife. So he has nothing to hold him back from being with his one true love. Now, if Scammer Shaba 
wants that, why haven't he put forth an effort to do that? Make that big change. Okay, close one door to open up another one. And for you and him to go sunset. Wherever y'all de depend on wherever y'all want to go in this country. Okay? Both of y'all gone into the sunset. Living life to the fullest. But shopper, scammer, he's making it so difficult. So difficult for you to even do that. And you're not even questioning it. Like, what's wrong with you, girl? What's wrong with you, Nene? Girl. And September's coming up to the anniversary of Greg's deceased departure from this way of living here in our plane of the realm of existence. One year. So we've got June, July, August, September. We're embarking on three more months that you've been without Greg for one year. And you have done a horrible job. Where you've gotten yourself into a very precarious position. One that's going to cost you $100,000 or more to get rid of. Because you caught yourself having to have to get on with your life. Of course, you know, me and others feel you were doing that before Greg left out of this world. You were getting your rocks knocked off. We don't know if it was with Scammer, Shaba. We don't know if it was with him or someone else. But you definitely wasn't doing nothing with him because he was too sick to even do anything with. And when you were with him, you only thing you did was complain, complain, complain. Like you were the patient. Like you were the one sick. Everything had to get off of you and put on him. And you didn't like that. You didn't like it at all. But I'm like, how selfish can you be, girl? How selfish can you be? We already see how stupid you can be. We can understand how ill-informed you are about this situation. But it's your situation. We're just on the outside looking in, trying to make sense of it all. But that's all I had for this particular video. Now, I like it, love it, gotta have more. You know I will be back. Yes, you do. I will be back knocking at your door saying, come on over to the house. We got some things to discuss. We got some things to talk about. <laughs> Let's work it out. Okay, guys, I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.